Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and this is 6th video of this playlist and in this video I am going to show you how to configure Starwind Virtual SAN for VMware, vSphere and ESX host. So here is my environment, we have uh, our Active Directory Domain Control which is going to get 12 DC01, here it is, you can see. I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and the second server is vCenter 6 which is our vCenter server if you go here uh, you can verify here if, uh, like uh, I have installed vCenter on this server here is the machine vCenter 6 join in my domain and I have installed vCenter server on this machine and I have installed vSphere client and vSphere web client also on the same server and you can see I have logged into my vCenter server so and we have three ESX host ESX 010203 all are running fine and we have added all the ESX host in our data center India data center which we have created in the last video so so now what we want we want to add a uh, SAN storage in our uh, shared storage basically you can say uh, for all the ESX host which can be used uh, at the same time by using multipathing on the same uh, on all the ESX hosts. So for that we have Starwind installed. I have installed Starwind on my Starwind virtual server on my physical machine here. You can see if I launch a Starwind management console, you can see. So I am connected with my uh, my physical machine Starwind management by using Starwind. Uh, start in virtual connection uh, virtual console so here the first thing we need to do we need to add a target so target name you can see is you can say anything like put it here mm. I see target zero one the first target and if, if you want to modify your uh, like uh, target name uh, FQDN, you can uh, modify here and definitely we want uh, allow multipath concurrent ISKC control connections because we want to access uh, these data store uh, learns on the same time on all the devices. So go ahead and create uh, our first target. Click next. So the simple thing just click on create it will create a like target creation complete now you can see we have ISKC target 01 and the second step we need to add a drive on this so go ahead and add device we need to add a hard drive so virtual desk and I am going to call it like ISKC disk 01 so make it like oh uh, you can see 51 GB so it will usable like uh, 50 GB there in so go ahead and select all the default option only and no need to select anything else so the first one is created same I want to add two more for like 201 GB and the last one is also for the same size so here you can see second is also added and the last one change the size to zero one and click next next leave the all defaults so now you can uh, see we have three option or uh, three devices connected with this target and we will uh, connect if if we uh, try to connect with this target ISKC target 01 it will automatically map all the three uh, devices um, by default so we have three learns learn 0 1 and 2 and state is active and the device size is you can see the device size is 51 GB 200 GB and 200 GB so so here is the option so so if you want to add a permission uh, so you can add also the permission here but for for demo purpose I'm not going to change anything here we'll we'll see later on so for now in this video I'm done with it and 
and next video so in next video we will configure the multipathing for isq uh, on uh, all the esx host and then we will uh, we will connect uh, with the starwin virtual san so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye